I recently discovered this really cool trick for Blender to get these amazing looking volumetric lighting scenes using a smoke simulation in Blender. And I think it's really cool, but I found this one trick that might help you out in doing this. In order to do this, I used the Blender built-in fluid simulation. And when I did this, it ended up making a 50 gigabyte file of smoke simulation because I used 256 subdivisions and there's just a lot of detail to it. And, you know, had collisions with the machine in the middle here and it was quite a lot. So when I went to animate things and it was just too much for it to handle all of this. And the way I got around this was exporting one specific frame from this volumetric simulation, which helped a lot with me doing animations for this because it doesn't have to render a different volumetric lighting for each part of the scene, which is really cool. So the way I ended up doing this was a technique that I couldn't really find online. I just happened to discover it on my own and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So open up your blender scene with whatever fluid simulation you're doing. I'm not gonna talk about how I did the exact fluid simulations for the other machine, but once you have it all done, you, know, you have your smoke domain, you have your sphere or whatever's outputting the smoke, go ahead and play your animation and figure out what frame you really like. So in this instance, I'm going to try to get, I don't know, let's say frame 27. And I really like this. So head over to your smoke domain, scroll down until you find the cache section and change your type to all. What this will do is erase what just showed up, but it will allow you to bake your fluid into a folder. So go ahead and hit the bake all button. And um, like I said, I wanted to do frame 26. So I'm just going to set the end frame to 26. And then I'm going to go ahead and bake all. What this is going to do is calculate all at once what the fluid's supposed to look like and then kind of save it to memory to make things a lot faster. So now if I scroll through my timeline here, you can see I can scroll pretty smoothly and allows me to get to frame 26, which is what I really like. When you do this, it's going to create a folder in your computer and it has the path of where this fluid sim is. So if I go here and I copy the path, head over to File Explorer and paste it in, you can see here that it created this folder. Now in this folder, we're going to look for some files to put into another Blender file. So I'm going to go ahead, look for data, and then go ahead and find the VDB file for that frame. You see it says 0026 find the file and then just copy it or move it to wherever you want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to my downloads folder. So now with a brand new Blender file, I'm gonna go ahead and new here, just don't save that one. I'm gonna erase everything here. What I can do is hit Shift A to open up the add menu. And then I'm gonna go to volume and import open VDB. Now I'm gonna go ahead and find my file from that which is that file we just copied to a different location. You can even do it from the cache folder, but sometimes in that temp folder, things get removed. So I recommend copying somewhere else, double click on it. And now it's been added to your scene, which is really cool because now you can scrub through your timeline. It doesn't change and it's super performance forgiving because it's just one frame of it. And you can, you know, zoom around in this with your camera and make it really easy to make some really cool renders like I showed with this one where you have some nice volumetric lighting in a scene. Thought you all would enjoy.